Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about how to be unapologetic. To be unapologetic means to not feel or show shame or regret and to just love who you are and not be sorry for that. Something that I've learned over the past few years is that there's only so much time on this earth and why should I be wasting any of it thinking about what other people think of me? Friends, boys, friends that are boys. The past summer taught me a lot of things. I realized that I was trying to be someone I was not with people who I really didn't want to be with. But I cared so much about what these people thought of me that I didn't actually realize that I was changing as a person and like developing my personality. I quieted myself because I was afraid of saying the wrong thing and afraid of this awkwardness that would surround me if I did say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. I felt like I missed the part in our teen lives where everyone decided that drugs and sex and degrading rap music was okay and that they were cool. So obviously I kind of felt a lack of coolness around cool people. I thought because I didn't know about these things I would say the wrong thing and then I would consider it not being cool, which really doesn't matter in the whole scape of things, but to me it really mattered. To be honest, I was afraid of being wrong and we gotta all stop being afraid of being wrong. A lot of people live in this bubble where the only thing that matters is their looks and who views their Snapchat story. And we kind of got to get over this. The most important thing in life is not making sure that the opposite sex is attracted to you, no matter how awkward you may feel or out of place or like not like yourself. Your value is not determined by the way a boy thinks of you or looks at you and makes you feel. So if all you can think about is that boy in class who is not going to text you back or not going to text you first, you need to check yourself. Um, and just reevaluate your self-worth. I went through a phase where that was all I could think about and I didn't want to do anything else. Um, I felt like I was nothing if this person didn't like me or didn't care about me, which is really, really stupid, actually. Um, because this person is not any better than I am or better than any of my friends or better than what I do with my time. This year I found out that I say a lot of stupid things and at the most awkward times and I found out that I'm just weird and I also found out that I like myself. I honestly like myself way better. I find that because I'm not apologizing for who I am and that sort of happened in the last couple months, I'm not sorry for existing and I'm much more confident in myself and that's just kind of how I want everyone to feel. So I've kind of put together some steps to help you guys and help myself learn to be unapologetic. The first step is to stop and evaluate yourself. Are you content with how things are going, with who you're around, who you're spending your time with, why you're spending your time with these people, and how you think of yourself? The next step is to understand yourself and to love everything about yourself. You can't move forward if you are just going to be sorry for existing all the time. Number three is that you are more than your social media. You have to accept that you are an individual that is constantly changing and you cannot try to conform yourself to a mold or try to fit yourself into an Instagram feed. The most important thing in your life is not to maintain an image of yourself that you want other people to see. To be honest, no one really cares about your Instagram feed. That stuff's for you and to empower yourself or to share things with others that you find special. It should not be to seek gratification or love or affection from others. If you're posting a damn hot selfie, it's because you already know you're hot, so just believe it and move on. This leads me to number four, which is to be honest with yourself. You think about things. There are things that are important to you. Don't you want to be confident in the things that you are interested in, the things that are important to you, in your opinions? So this brings me to number five. Pursue your interests. Fill your brain with information about what's happening in the world and what you're interested in. Whether you read Vogue, random books, the news, Urban Dictionary, or the rules of basketball, literally anything, do it. This way you have stuff to say. You have stuff you're confident in talking about. You can find people who share the same interests and, you know, have a whole human interaction. You'll have many more opportunities to talk about what you're interested in instead of just sitting by and hoping for like a peek in the conversation that you can kind of just jump at and ha, ha laugh at because maybe you sort of understand on the same level as these immature people. Alright, number six. 
now that you've sort of established yourself and you are confident in who you are, it's time to reveal yourself to your friends or to your new group of friends or to your old group of friends, whatever. My friends and YouTube both taught me how to be confident in myself and to realize that we are all flawed individuals who make mistakes and no one is perfect. You are not the only one who's going to be weird in a crowded room or who's going to try to fill awkward silence with something even more awkward than that silence. You are not the only one who is going to be wrong or is going to be perceived as wrong or people are not going to agree with. If you don't first come across as awkward, you will never get to pass through to the comfortable stage of friendship or relationships. The last step is to move on. It's easy to get caught up in familiarity and to not want to change um, and we just have to get over that. Change is scary, not just for yourself, but for the people who surround you and sometimes unexpected things just don't work out. What you have to realize is that not everything is a big deal and don't make everything such a big deal if it's not necessary. So you should be able to talk to who you want, when you want, and be able to carry out a conversation and tell them what's on your mind or just kind of like not be sorry for what you have to say or what your opinions are. Your friends will be there for you no matter what if they are your friends. If they suddenly decide to not like you anymore because you suddenly have a voice and you are suddenly your own person and not quiet anymore, then you need to get yourself away from them and find new friends. If you're in 12th grade and you say, oh no, I can't make any friends, there aren't any friend groups, you can. There are people who are always accepted they are mature and they are unapologetic people. So there's no need to start unnecessary drama because being dramatic is just really extra. So I don't mean unapologetic as you're not sorry for calling people out on everything that they do that you think is wrong. Speak your mind but not to start a fight. I think that with growing older comes this maturity that we have to just make like Elsa and let it go. You see a lot of people nowadays who are just kind of like alive on social media and vibrant and then they don't speak in real life and it's kind of like okay i didn't understand the point where having talents and abilities and really cool interests had to be kept a secret in real life i don't understand when it became cool to be disinterested in everything and not cool to be excited about school or life or just something, anything. We all fear being labeled, but what you gotta understand is that you gotta love what you love and be proud of the things that you love and showcase it to anyone who will listen. Don't apologize for who you are or who you love or what you love or what you're interested in. And yeah, that's that. Hope to make lots more videos soon, but there's a lot of things been going on lately and I love you guys. So thank you so much for all the support and all the subscribers. I can't believe you guys are subscribing to me. It's a little nuts. <laughs> so I'm Andrea and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.